Canadian Campaholic here coming to you on a very wet, dreary Saturday afternoon. And speaking of water, today we're going to sanitize the fresh water system on our camper. We do this at least once a year. Follow your owner's manual instructions to figure out the frequency of how often you need to do it. Uh, essentially what this is going to entail is adding a cleaning compound into the freshwater holding tank and running that through the system and then flushing the tank a few times. I don't mess around with bleach. I go out and buy Camco's uh, Spring Fresh. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this myself. I've used this for several years. Does a great job of getting that nasty uh, antifreeze taste out of the pipes and also has the water tasting fresh and clean, sometimes better than what we have in the house. Uh, we don't have a filtration system for our fresh water, so it's important that the system is clean and free of any um, you know, mildew or dirt or anything like that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we've hooked up our white water drinking hose to the uh, tap on the house, and we're gonna open up the gravity fill here on the side of the holding tank. We're gonna put this hose in here, and the first step is to fill your holding tank to about two thirds full. You'll know that by keeping an eye on the water level meter. So let's start to fill her up. So we're inside the camper now, She's reading about two thirds full. Keep the light on for a while because sometimes if it splashes up and hits the sensors it'll give you a false reading but you want to make sure that you've got a really good solid amount of water in there two-thirds of your tank all right so next step is to start adding the concentrated spring fresh mixture to the tank you're going to be using uh let's see here approximately one quart for each 25 gallons of capacity now this isn't rocket science you don't have to be super precise but you also don't want to overdo it because it's about 30 bucks Canadian plus uh, for this size. So this particular one is saying you're gonna add uh, 0.94 liters for every 94.5 liters of tank capacity, but they've actually got markings down the side of the label here to kind of help you eyeball approximately how much you need. So I have a 40 gallon tank, that's the 50 gallon mark. I'm gonna go just a little bit shy of the 50 gallon mark and uh, that'll do just fine. If you can, find yourself a flexible funnel. This one's not ideal, uh, but it has been cleaned and it is used exclusively for this purpose. All right, so we've got the cap back on the gravity fill. And uh, at this point, you could drive it around to agitate it in the tank if it was a motorhome or if it's hooked up to your vehicle, you could go for a little spin around the block. But the other thing you can do, since this is a smaller rig, is just give it a bit of a shake. Just to splash it around in the tank. I should also point out that I'm not sanitizing the hot water heater today. This is still bypassed. Um, there's another descaling cleaning process I follow specifically for the hot water tank. Today I'm just focusing on the water lines themselves and the water tank. Next thing, head inside. All right, we're inside the rig now. So I'm gonna switch on the uh, pump, pressurize the system, and you wanna run each faucet one at a time, continuously for two minutes. So I'm gonna start actually with the toilet, since it's uh, part of the whole system on the cold line. Run it for two minutes, then I'll do the shower for two minutes, and then I'll do the uh, cold tap and the hot tap one at a time, two minutes each. That's the next step of the process. Use a timer for this one if you can. All right, so back of the rig. Let's start off with the toilet. And we should see it switch over from, there we go, from the antifreeze to the fresh water. And we'll run a timer for two minutes. All right, toilet done. Onto the shower now. Again, one at a time. Start with the hot or cold, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take the shower head down so I'm not spraying water all over the place. Aim it towards the drain. So we'll start with, uh, let's start with the cold side. Turn the pause feature off. There's the antifreeze and the water. Again, two minutes. All right, so that's uh, two minutes for the toilet, two minutes for the cold shower, two minutes for the hot shower. Now we're here in the kitchen. Two minutes for the hot, two minutes for the cold. Let's go. All right, so we've followed the instructions. Two minutes of flow on each individual tap. We now want to let the entire system just sit so that the spring fresh can do its job. Uh, let it sit for a total of 10 minutes. And then we'll be get back and on to the next step. 
All right, so the 10 minutes are up on this first part of the process. So what we need to do now is crawl under the rig and uh, open up the drain valve on the fresh water tank to drain the system completely. So let's do that. All right, so under my rig, there's my little drain tap. I'm just gonna reach under there and open that up and drain the tank completely. You can see I've still got a little bit of uh, water and product left in the tank. You can see it's blue. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, drain it down. All right, so my son just let me know that the tank has finished uh, draining down. So the next step is to close off the shutoff valve under the rig, and we're gonna refill the fresh tank, this time 100% full. And a um, little top tip here is I wouldn't just rely on the uh, the water reading, the control panel, I would actually fill it to the point that it's actually pouring out of the uh, vent. So when you fill water through the gravity fill, there's a little screened vent hole beside it. You should see water coming back up out of that vent to indicate that the tank is absolutely filled to capacity. So let's go do that. Let's fill up the tank. So just in connection to what I said a minute ago, here we are inside the rig, and according to the tank meter, on the control panel, it says it is full, but water is still flowing into the tank. And no folks, I don't have a leak anywhere else. What's probably happening, and this happens even at a fill station at your campground, is the trailer is on a little bit of an angle and it is leaning towards the sensors. And so the sensors are reading that the tank is full, but it's not 100%. The only real way to know if it's 100% full is to keep filling it until water starts coming back out of the gravity fill, even better out of this vent here, then you know 100% that that tank is completely full. All right, there's gonna be a lot of deja vu in this process, but here's step two, the tank is full. Now I'm gonna go one tap at a time and run each one individually two minutes a piece. You don't have to wait 10 minutes after this one. You can then immediately drain down the system and repeat. And the whole purpose of uh, you know filling it flushing it, draining it, filling it, flushing it, draining it, is ensuring that any of that uh, spring fresh is drained out of the system. Although it's non-toxic, it doesn't taste or smell that great. So you wanna make sure that uh, by the time you fill this sucker up to go camping, everything is crystal clean and fresh tasting. All right, taps are done again, two minutes of heat. Now I gotta uh, crawl around underneath the air and drain it again. God, I'm getting too old for this shit. Fill the tank again with fresh water. 100% full. Well, folks, that'll do it for this video. Uh, the system is uh, all drained down now. I took a little bit of a, a sniff test and a taste test of the water coming out of the tap near the end, and it was uh, no noticeable odor or flavor. So uh, we are all set for the camping season. Last thing to mention is that keep in mind, as you're flushing these taps and systems, you're going to fill up that black and that gray tank. So just make sure that you have a plan in place to drain those down and that you're following local laws as it relates to draining that gray and black tank. Uh, that'll do it for this video. We'll talk to you later.